Today on the channel from the AEW Supreme line, we've got Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. The spirit of the warrior will run forever. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another AEW Supreme unboxing and review as we're taking a look at AEW Supreme Series 1. We've unboxed Cody, check out that review if you did miss that, but we're taking a look at Dr. Britt Baker, DMD today. But remember, for all your AEW Supreme, Unrivaled, Unmatched, and WWE Elite, Basics, Ultimates, you name it, Head over to Ringside Collectibles. Use discount code KYLE to save yourself 10% and tell them KYLE sent you. There you go. Uh, but today, like I said, we're digging into AEW Supreme line and just fitting that we got a female in Britt Baker and a male in Cody Rhodes in Series 1 as it harkens back to the days of WWE Ultimate Series 1 with the Ultimate Warrior and Ronda Rousey. So we're getting a little bit of the male and female variety, see how both of them look and uh, feel, of course. Uh, so we're going to dive into this. Like we do all the other reviews on the channel, we're going to take a look at the packaging, we're going to talk about it, we're going to unbox it, we're going to talk about it, we're going to see where it goes from there. So let's take a look at the packaging first on this one. And like I said in the Cody Rhodes unboxing, these things look so much better in person. They look good, you know, on computer images, things like that. But to get them in your hand and to feel them, man, these really feel very upscale and uh, very much a work of art. Now, they should. They are very expensive, as we all know. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see what kind of legs this line has. We know back in the day when the Ultimate Edition started with Mattel, it was a little stumbly. It was a little bumpy, for sure. And we still see some bumps from time to time. A character like The Undertaker going down to clearance for $8.99 seems pretty crazy so the ups and downs of the action figure game especially the high priced action figure game uh, is a very difficult one and we know with inflation all the price changes prices going up across the board uh, how well will this do will this do okay at retail i believe these will be coming to walmart's not sure on targets got to think amazon's will have them but ringside collectibles has them first as usual so it's going to be very interesting to see how this line and what kind of legs this line has. We do know Series 2 coming very, very soon. Uh, we'll see how deep they go and how many sets they do do a year. But let's look at the packaging here. Very, very much like Cody. Of course, we saw Cody. The nice background display looks really cool. And as we said, this is the answer to the WWE Mattel Ultimate Editions is the Supreme line from Jazzwares. Looking really good. Dr. Rip Baker got her title belt right there. Uh, very, very cool. Boy, the improvements that they have made on Dr. Britt Baker, and we'll talk about that when we get to uh, get her out of the package and we compare her to some previous ones as well. But look at that right there. On the side, there's some uh, accessories. You got the t-shirt, got the hands, the microphone, of course. On the other side, we got a whole other body. That's one of the cool things about the Supreme line. You get another body with this one. Very, very cool. Looks really nice. And then the back here, look at that. There she is. Uh, all dolled up, ready to go. Got her title belt. Got her, got her autograph on there. Dr. Britt from Dynamite Grand Slam 922-2021. So we're a recurring theme as Cody Rhodes was also in that same boat. Says watch all Elite Wrestling, Dynamite, and Rampage. Check your local listings. But man, is this cool. This is very, very cool. I like this one a whole lot. So just like with Cody, there's a lot to uncork and unpack out of this thing. So let me take this offline. Let me get her out of the package. And we'll be back talking all things Dr. Britt Baker, DMD. All right, we're back. We got Dr. Britt Baker Supreme Edition out of the package here. And I thought I'd show this a little closer. Get that little entrance way. Very, very cool. I can see a lot of people saving this, so I'm going to put this off to the side. See you later. Uh, Dr. Britt Baker in the plastic prison. There she is. Very interesting. She does come with the AEW Women's Title Belt, but we just recently, like a week ago, go check out the review. We unboxed Dr. Britt Baker AEW Unrivaled Series 10, and that was the debut of the brand new larger Women's Title Belt. So we're going backwards with the small belt here. So uh, interesting times going back and forth, and of course we'll compare this figure to that Dr. Britt Baker figure uh, later on here in this very video. Let me pull her out of the package. Maybe... Oh, we took the top half off. We broke her apart. See you later. Goodbye. And of course, as we know, these things can be uh, plugged and played and all kinds of fun stuff like that. So let's get her off to the side. Let's take a look at all these accessories first. Like I said, we did get this female of uh, the women's title belt. Uh, but of course, this is the Unrivaled 10 title belt here. And you can definitely see that size difference. Uh, not terribly better, but this is, 
yeah, this is definitely bigger on Unrivaled Series 10 for those keeping track at home. So we've seen this belt before. I'm sure we'll see it again, and maybe they'll cross over back and forth between the two belts for a while. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, much like Cody Rhodes, and I have a feeling every single Supreme figure going forward, I would have to think, will come with an AEW microphone. Get the most out of your molds. Very, very easy to do. Very easy to throw in, and it makes a lot of sense. So we did get another AEW microphone. We've seen this many a times. i got to think, at this point, it is the most used accessory. It's like the old ring bell from the Jax days. Everybody got a ring bell. Everybody gets a microphone with the jazz wares, I think. Uh, let's look at some of these hands. How about, oh, we got two fists of fury. You know Kyle's all in when you got fists. Very cool, though. We also got the red painted nails on all of her hands. Uh, very cool touch, a little touch of detail. But she does have two fists. She does come ready to go with both slapping hands. She can give the old double slap if she needs to. So she does have that. We do get the Dr. Britt Baker gloved hand, of course, for the, uh, what was that called? Not the mandible claw. Maybe it's the mandible claws. I would call the forget what she calls it, but that's what it's for, this hand here. And we've seen this before as well in the in the, her other figures. And then this is the one we saw for the first time on Unrivaled Series 10. It's the old uh, DMD hand. So we got that once again. Just straight reuse on that. So we did get a plethora of hands. Choose your own hand adventure, as we always say. Uh, we did get a t-shirt with her as well. Uh, what does that say? Britsburg? Welcome to Britsburg, beautiful this time of year. I may, I got a question for any of you guys from Pittsburgh or the surrounding area. What do they really think of Britt Baker in Pittsburgh? Is she like Bruno San Martino, Kurt Angle level there, Terry Bradshaw uh, levels there? You tell me. Uh, how is she on a slow uh, descent or is she already there? You guys let me know. Uh, is she really Pittsburgh's favorite gal? Uh, it looks like it when they have a uh, dynamite and rampage there, but who knows? You guys tell me if you're from Pittsburgh. So we got that. Then, of course, we get the extra body pieces here. I really like this. I see one glaring problem. We'll dive into this in a little bit, but I love this extra legs. It's like a pantsuit, jeans, tights, leggings, whatever you want to call it, but it looks different. It's like a backstage Britt Baker, interview segment Britt Baker, and I like that a whole lot. And then, of course, we do get uh, the extra set of arms here, like we saw with Cody. You do get a vest as well. We'll break all this stuff down. We get two heads. We'll talk about all the heads together. So without further ado, let's take a look at this Britt Baker figure here looking really, really good. And it's funny is, boy, uh, I can see a lot of people, if you gave me this head and you took this head off there, now they've come so far in Dr. Britt Baker heads. If we go back to that first figure we had, a lot of people dog this one and rightfully so. It's not Jazzwear's best work. They have just jumped ahead, light speed ahead in these facial designs. Now, I'm not sure yet. It's going to take a while to soak in, but the Unrivaled Series 10, which we have right here, is a fabulous likeness. This could be the best one. Funny on this one, if somebody gave me just a head on this, I think this looks a lot like Chelsea Green. So if you're looking to get a Chelsea Green figure, uh, you don't like her basic, I think you could use this one for Chelsea. It sure does look a heck of a lot like that. Uh, the other issue I see right off the bat here is she's got a long giraffe neck, and you've got that big neck joint right there. Uh, that is very, very unsightly on this figure. Uh, and you don't want her looking down. That hides it, but that looks strange. You need her looking straight up. But that is a heck of an eyesore. She's got a long neck, and then you got that joint right there. So that does catch your eye. But boy, this head sculpt, it does look like Britt Baker, but it looks more like Chelsea Green to me. Let's see some of these other ones. Boy, same thing. I mean, they do look very similar. I will give them that. So I guess it could go both ways. But you get a very similar one. This is a little bit of a smirking head, just a little. This one's kind of about the same kind of thing. It's just more of a monotone, just a regular head here. Looks like we got the same hair piece going across the board. It is the same hairdo. It would have been nice to have something maybe a little different, but she doesn't mix her hair up a ton. And then you get a smiling face, which this one really looks like Chelsea Green. So I don't know. You Chelsea Green fans might be in luck. You can move these over to her basic, make some customs, do stuff like that, because you're going to have extra heads here unless you want to mix and match. And one of the cool things about this line is all the playability here, all the mixing and matching you can do with these Supremes. Uh, like I said, we got Dr. Britt Baker. We got Unmatched before. Uh, we got the Blood one from Ringside on Rival 10. Uh, you can take these heads, mix them, match, uh, do all that kind of stuff, which guess what? Like these ones here from the Unmatched one, her original figure, yeah, I could easily pop these off, put these on here, and man, you're off to the races. So you customizers, you guys that like to mix and match parts, you're going to have a field day with this Supreme line. This will probably be your favorite line of all time just because of your uh, mind is your only limitation. Somebody might say that. Maybe I just did. Who knows? Uh, but there's the heads on these. So, yeah, that neck joint does bother me a little bit. I want to see... I don't know if any of the other ones are going to hide that, though. doesn't look like they will. Oh, boy, that's a tough, 
tough one. Well, that's a long neck joint. Uh, I don't know why. Oh my gosh, this won't even go on. It's fighting me the whole time. Jeez. So very interesting there. Very interesting. That's a long neck. A long, long neck. But uh, rest of articulation here, let's break it down. Let's talk about it. We talked about the hands. We got the slapping hands. The side to side, of course, are removable. We do get the nail polish on here as well. She just got the glove going on. She just got the painted forearm tape in black. Double jointed, pinless elbows. You guys know I absolutely love that. Definitely a game changer in the action figure headspace for sure. Bicep cut, shoulder articulation up, down, all around. And then you get the butterfly shoulder, which we haven't got on female figures before in this line, just like the male. So extra articulation there if you need it. Uh, these arms do feel tighter than the Cody Rhodes. If you guys remember my Cody review, very, very loose joints in the arms, which I was pretty disappointed about, pretty down about. Uh, these are a lot tighter, which makes me believe maybe I just got a bone Cody Rhodes. Maybe I got one with loose joints. Maybe somebody else uh, might have a little tighter ones. I hope that is the case. I'm hoping I'm just a one off type thing that they're not all really loose but we do have that we do got the hula hoop at the top of course the articulation there waist articulation then you get the splits she can do of course you get the thigh cut you do get the double jointed pinless knees on her uh, you do get the boot cut and then you get the ankles up and down side to side and todd mcfarland's patented toe articulation makes its journey over to the supreme line as well uh, her outfit here, of course, it's got the Dr. Britt Baker logo. A little bit of scuffage from the hair, unfortunately. Got all the teeth in yellow and red going on. Uh, very, very good. It says Britsburg on her butt, of course. Of course, she's got the female Jazzwares booty going on. Uh, good for her. She does have her Steelers kind of insignia over there. Uh, got the wrapping around. Uh, it is uh, very reminiscent of her other figures in the boot department, as I guess it should be. All white boots going on. Got DMD on the side of the feet. Right there on the side of the boots, I should say. A very, very good-looking figure there. I got no problems with it. It does look a little like Chelsea Green, of course, like I said. She does fit on a ringside stand for those keeping track at home. She fits perfectly on there. So go to ringside, grab the AEW stands for these, and use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Now let's get a little customizing going on. Let's move some things around here. Let's play with some stuff. What can we do? So I'm going to put on this vest here. And this vest, uh, once again, you get the DMD logo. Ooh, on the back, Britsburg, DMD. So you got the city skyline going on. That's a cool, nice touch, I think. I think that is nice enough. So then this will just slide on. And these slide on a lot easier when you got the butterfly and the pinless joints, all that kind of stuff. Because we know some of these poly pocket type things. Boy, especially from Mattel, they would fight us back in the day. We would fight with these things all day long. Uh, you guys have been there. I know you have. You've been there right in the in the uh, tunnels or the the uh, the hole with me. I'm sure. Very very tight though. Can I get this on her? I think I might have to pull the body off. How about I pull the head off? That's what I was hoping for. But of course, you can mix and match. Do whatever you want. Pull anything off you need to. Pop that on. Yeah, it definitely fits better. You got to remove the hair to get it to totally fit because the hair will limit getting that on but that does fit and of course you got her kind of not necklaces but part of her design there and i'm just gonna grab a different head just for the heck of it see if this one will fit on very well oh my gosh these heads they do not go on very well on here they are very hard to get on compared to some of the other AEW figures we've had over the years and that long neck joint is really annoying uh, it just always bends down on you and stuff so a little frustrations cody i had frustrations with cody's shoulders I got a little frustration with her head. And that one pops on. The head that came stock fits the best. That goes pops on very easily compared to the others. Uh, but then, of course, you do pull off the arms. We're supposed to be able to pull off the arms. We'll see how well that works. Oh, my gosh. Very, very tight in the arm department. Very hard to pull off. Oh, geez. There it goes. But I got it. I got it. You know, I'm, I'm a professional. Or at least I play one on YouTube from time to time. That's, that's even to be put up a poll on that. We're not sure there. But pop in, you can hear that big snap go in when it went in. There it is again. And this looks really, really good. This is her entrance gear. This is this is probably how I'm going to display her. Much like Cody, how I I'm going to display in his entrance jacket and stuff, I think this is the same thing I'm going to do for Dr. Britt Baker here. Uh, it looks very, very good with the sleeves on. Very, very cool look to this one. like this a whole lot. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Re looks really good. Now what if I, and you can, of course, like I said, pop, mix and match, do whatever you want. You can pop off that unmatched. You can put the bottoms here. I mean, it doesn't always match, of course, the best, uh, but you can do really whatever you want to do. Your, uh, your mind is the only thing that's going to limit you with these kind of things. And how about Unrivaled Series 10? I wouldn't mind popping the bottom half. I guess that's probably not going to look right either. You got the different color tones going on, but you can definitely mix and match these. Uh, definitely. 
Definitely can. I, I like that idea. It's just a dangerous game because I can see people buying multiples of a lot of these figures just to design different ones. And then you're down a rabbit hole that's just a very dangerous, expensive rabbit hole at that point uh, for sure. But how about we put these on with the top part? That'd be interesting. And we've seen her, I think, wear this before in the past with the black leggings here. It looks like jeans, kind of. Uh, really nice throughout. These are also uh, pinless on these, double jointed, of course. You do even got a boot cut, which I don't even know if it's a high ankle cut, I guess we'd call this. Uh, you do got the legs that spread out, of course, normally. Now, my one gripe here is I really like this. I like the belt. It says BB, Britt Baker, right there on the belt. I really like this look. It's like uh, the equivalent of the male in the suit, kind of, with this going on. And she does have the high heels, which I don't think we've seen high heels yet in the Unrivaled, Unmatched line. So this is the first go here. I believe. I believe. But what I don't like is, man, gigantic feet and ankles here. They are way too big. They look, it is really an eyesore how big her feet are. I mean, she's got some clown shoes going on is what it looks like to me. Very interesting they made that so big, especially the ankles in that. That needs to be addressed. That needs to be pared down a little bit because, yeah, her ankles shouldn't be bigger than her thighs. At least we hope not. Uh, but we even do get the toe articulation even on the high heels here. So that is very cool. Now, unfortunately, not going to be able to use a stand on these. There is no peg hole in the bottom. So FYI on that. But I really do like this. If you cover up these legs, this looks amazing here with the jeans on, uh, tights, whatever you want to call them. But boy, once you get down to those ankles, those are some hefty, hefty ankles there. Uh, but she does not stand very well either with them. So that's just typical. I feel, I'm getting flashbacks to some of the old Mattels. But hey, there you go. I did get her to stand. So it is possible. But as we know, with high-heeled figures, always a little bit more difficult uh, than some of the other ones. Of course, we've had many Britt Baker figures over the years. Uh, the Blood and Guts one was a personal favorite. But what I really like is the evolution of Britt Baker. How every figure has gotten better. Uh, constant learning, constant improvement. I say that all the time on the channel. Uh, I try to use that in my own business career, my own daily business life. I think Mattel, Jazzwares, whoever, I'm sure they are got that same motto or something close to it. Constant learning, constant improvement. Always getting better. How do we get better? How do we get better to competition? How do we get better? How do we improve things? And we've really seen seen that in the AEW lines more so with Britt Baker than I think any other figure out there. Obviously, Series 1 with the white skin, uh, that did get fixed pretty quick. But uh, a lot of improvements over the last uh, couple of years. And Britt Baker is one that's got a ton of improvements. So good for her there. Finally getting her face where it needs to be, looking like her. But it does look a lot like Chelsea Green. But unfortunately, uh, I think they do look very similar. They should form a tag team, really, is what they should do. They could be uh, the new Bella Twins, maybe. Uh, who knows? But boy... Fabulous, fabulous figure here. Of course, like anything else, we got some gripes. The head doesn't really go on very well. I don't like that neck joint in there. That's a little goofy. Uh, this set of legs, the ankles are a little bit goofy. But there's enough to look through to that to see uh, the magic of Britt Baker here. I mean, a very, very solid figure. Much like the Cody, it is a good one. And I would say it's one of the top two Supremes I've unboxed this year on the channel. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt in my mind since I've only done two. Uh, but I do like this figure, and I do like the Cody. And, of course, I got the Cody still right here. Put those two side by side. Boy, couldn't get too much better in uh, the first series here. Really, at the time when these were starting to be produced and things, pretty much your top male star, arguably, your top female st star, maybe not so arguably. But uh, that is uh, quite the set here for Series 1, and that will always be the history. People say, remember AEW Series 1 of Supreme? Oh, yeah, Cody and Britt Baker. Uh, that's kind of how those things do end up going. So very, very solid. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? You all in? You all out? You picking it up? You passing? Let me know your thoughts on this Britt Baker. I'd be interested to hear. And you Pittsburgh folk, you guys let me know. what What is the real deal with Britt Baker? Is she just looked on upon like a young Bruno San Martino and Kurt Angle out there? Or is she on her way to getting there? You guys let me know uh, in the comments down below. And then, of course, like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day, including everything that is AEW and really wrestling at this point as well. So check out the other videos on the channel, subscribe, hit the old notification bell. And then, of course, Patreon, where you can get videos like this much earlier than traditional YouTube. We got bonus content, exclusive content, monthly giveaways, and best of all, you support content like this. It is definitely appreciated. Check out the Patreon link in the description below and then of course don't forget to follow along on social media on twitter sir paul 64 instagram the underscore kyle underscore peterson and prowrestlingtees.com search kyle peterson so for dr Britt baker dmd i'm kyle and i'll see you guys all real soon